Hello, love. Welcome to Yoga Life with Amber. I'm Amber. This is my sidekick special guest, Timber, for today. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, I've been practicing yoga for 10 years and teaching for three years. And I'm so honored to have this platform to offer yoga to you. So thank you so much for joining today. So today's theme is going to be just be with it. Whatever it is today, whatever feeling it is, whatever sadness, joy, excitement, even depression, fear, be with it. I've had so many of my friends reach out to me lately and be like, I am just so down. And instead of being like, hey, but you should be happy, get that going, I'm like, just be with it, feel it. So today that is our theme and I invite you to be with every single breath today. So let's come into a seat that's comfortable for you. I like to move my booty flesh out the way by my sit bones. And then let's start with a tall spine. Maybe close your eyes and imagine your spine with all of its natural curves, especially the C curve in your low back. In other words, we don't want to slash like this and take out the <laughs> take out the curve in our low back. Good. So let's just have a neutral pelvis here. And with your eyes closed and your shoulders slightly back, be with every sensation in your body right now. Notice from the top of your head all the way down your neck into your shoulders, your chest, belly, hips, knees, all the way down to your ankles and toes without any judgment, be with everything you feel in your body right now. And then notice your mind. My mind is thinking about, I don't know if you could hear it, but there's an awesome like, little stream running over to the side here. And my mind is just peaceful because it brings me peace to hear water running. If there's any emotions coming up already, invite them in. Instead of pushing them away or pushing them down, maybe just give them a little hug, taking your hands over your chest, or maybe you feel them in your belly. Just bring your hands to the space where you feel. And then let's all take our hands to our bellies and begin an intentional breath and be with our breath for five deep intentional breaths. Inhale, puff your belly out towards your hands, filling it up with air like a balloon. Exhale, pull the belly in towards your spine, really squeeze in those muscles like you're giving your core a big hug with your muscles. Inhale, soft yoga belly. Good. Exhale, pull everything in. Soft shoulders. Inhale, Exhale, maybe out of your nose or a sigh. <sighs> Two more breaths. This is the breath we want to be with the entire class, which in my opinion is advanced to have a single pointed focus on your breath. And then you add in just be with any sensation. That's hard, my friend. So be kind to yourself during this practice. And we're going to get started with fire log pose, one of my favorites. So take your right or left, whichever one you start with, your top leg on top of your bottom leg, heel foot on top of your knee, knee on top of your other foot. So this is a huge stretch in your IT band. So if your knee's like way up here, that's fine. You can grab a pillow or Timber left me, but a doll, <laughs> Timber, Timber, Bubba. He's barking at our neighbors, let's be real. Good, and then sit up really tall, shoulders back. Stay here if you're already feeling a lot. Or slowly begin to dive your chest towards your thigh bone as you breathe. Keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Deep breaths. Just be with whatever you feel here. 
not pushing anything too much. Just notice where you begin to feel the stretch. Hey. Good boy. Hey. Awesome. And then whenever you're ready, walk your hands out in front of you. Tinch your fingers. Exhale, take your heads towards the ground if that feels good for you. Breathe deeply into the back of your ribs. Soft shoulders. Exhale. On your next inhale, slowly walk your hands all the way up to a tall seat and let's mindfully switch sides. Good, so each side is gonna feel different, so make sure you have some grace for each side. So for some of you, maybe this knee is up. Let's give it a little love, put a cushion or a block underneath it, pillow. Tall spine, shoulders back. See if you can find that C-curve in your low back. It's kinda like you're sticking your butt out a little bit. It'll feel like that, but I promise it probably doesn't look like that. <laughs> Stay here or slowly begin to breathe your chest towards your thigh bone. Finding any sensation and pausing to be with it. After this class, I hope that you hear my voice in the back of your head, like, just be with it, whatever it is. Awesome, and then if you'd like, take the hands out in front of you, tint the fingers, forehead drops towards the earth bowing out over the legs. Big inhale on the back of your ribs. Exhale, out of your mouth, big sigh. Inhale, slowly walk yourself all the way up. Awesome, let's take the bottoms of your feet together for bound angle pose. You can have your heels in close for inner thigh stretch or further out for more of an IT band stretch. But wherever you are, take your hands onto your ankles or your feet Tall spine, roll those shoulders back in. Let's just do a couple shoulder rolls. Forward and back. Good. Letting any stress or worries roll off of your shoulders. Sit tall, find that low back curve one more time. And then hinging at your hips, you can slowly begin to breathe forward or stay right where you are. Good. So our hips are known to hold on to past traumas or emotions, in fact, pretty intensely. So if this class evokes some tears for you or laughter, maybe a smile or a frown, whatever comes up, just be with it. Just be with it. Good, and as you continue to breathe, you can stay with a tall spine or maybe walk those hands out one more time, bowing over your feet, nose towards your toes. Soft shoulders, big breath into the back of your ribs. Exhale. Beautiful, inhale, slowly walk up. I have a friend, Julia, she's one of my viewers and she asked for a class where we stay down on the ground the whole time. So we're gonna do that today, I hope it serves you well. Whenever you're ready, let's roll onto hands and knees for tabletop pose, spread those fingers wide. Knees underneath your hips, so let's just sway your hips from side to side. And then invite your shoulders and your neck to go along for the ride. Kind of like a snake going through the grass. Have you guys seen any snakes yet this year? <laughs> I saw three in one day the other day, so I don't know what that really means, but I was really into it. Black snakes, of course. But whenever you're ready, melt that left forearm down to the ground, tint the right fingers, Pick up the right knee, stack the right hip on top of the left, flex that right foot, press it towards the back. So we're wanting to open up through the right hip here. I even feel this in my torso, but wherever you feel it, be with that sensation. And if you'd like, straighten the right leg, flex the right foot, and then pretend like someone's pulling your head and your foot really far apart, so this is lengthening in your torso and your spine. Stay here or maybe lift and lower that right leg, squeezing your right glute. Be with your booty. 
I love doing little butt exercises, so I try to add them in everywhere because having strong glutes supports our back. So I'm all about it. Beautiful. Inhale, reach that right leg up. Come onto both hands. I like to tip my fingers. You can have your hands down. On the inhale, we're going to use your belly, swing that right foot all the way to where your right hand is. For lizard lunge, shift your hips forward. So we want a 90 degree angle here, knee over your ankle. Shine your heart forward, shoulders go down your back. Be with whatever comes up here for one more breath. And now we're going to move with our breath. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, send that right leg back where we found it. Yeah, yeah. Inhale, use your core. Step forward. Lean your body forward. Hips come forward. Exhale, send your hips back. Right leg back. Two more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, press it. Last time. Inhale, step it forward. Exhale, send it back. Awesome. Exhale that right knee down. Take your hands out long in front of you. Send your tailbone back like you're going to come into a child's pose. They keep your eyes looking forward, chest up, and then just shimmy your hips from side to side. Good. Press into those fingers here to where you feel like you come up on your wrist. So your wrists are kind of lifted here. Good. Reconnect with your breath for one more breath. Beautiful. Come back into that tabletop pose. We're going to go to the other side. Melt the right forearm down, tint the left hand, and then we'll stack that left hip on top of the right. Flex the left foot, press that left foot behind you, long through the left knee, big stretch in the left hip. Deep intentional breaths here. This is one of my favorite stretches because my psoas muscles get really, really tight, which affects my low back. So we want to keep our back healthy. So we're really working on supporting that low back curve. Extend to the left leg. Feel the length from the foot all the way up to the crown of your head as you breathe. Soft shoulders. Maybe a smile on your face if that feels authentic for you. And then maybe little leg lifts if that feels good for your butt. I'm all about that base, about that base. No trouble. <laughs> Maybe I'm about bass and treble, who knows? But I'm definitely about it. Good, two more. Last one, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Come on to both hands, tented or flat. I'll do flat this time. Inhale, use your belly muscles super slow like you're moving through water. Step that left foot to the top of the mat. Lizard lunge. You can also have blocks underneath your hands. I don't have blocks with me today. But even tented, you can see how this really helps me come forward and have a lot more room than this does. But every body is different. Shoulders down your back. Breathe. Now we're going to get funky with it. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, send that left leg back where we found it. Flex behind you. Long. Inhale, use your belly muscles. Step it forward. Lizard lunge. Exhale, send your left leg back. Inhale, pull that left foot in. Lizard lunge. Exhale, send it back. Last time. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Lizard lunge. Exhale, send it back. Walk your knees as wide as your mat. Toes come to touch in the back. And let's melt the forehead down to the earth for a wide-legged child's pose. I like to rest my cheek personally. If you're here today and you're used to a more active practice, I hope that you can be with your breath, be with your body, and be with your mind and your emotions. Oh yeah, Timber. Be with your dog if your dog's in the room. If you'd like a more active version, you can tint your hands, look forward, maybe just lift in the chest. Or if you'd like a more passive, you might even wrap your arms around your back for two more breaths. I'm going to hold hands with Timber. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> I think Timber loves yoga. He's usually a pretty hyperactive dog, but he chills during yoga videos sometimes. Beautiful. Whenever you're ready, take your hands back out. Slowly peel yourself up. 
Beautiful. We're going to do one downward facing dog together. Pointer fingers point towards the top of the mat. And then fan your other fingers out. Press into the fingers. Tuck your toes. Send your tailbone towards the sky. Big bend in your knees. Pressing away from the earth. Hug in the low belly. Press the tailbone towards the sky. Maybe shake it out. Try to find that C curve in your low back. Booty, 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 booty. I found out the twerk is more like about bouncing your butt, I think, than anything else. We'll shake it out. Good. And whenever you're ready, let's step or hop. I'm going to step because I'm just still warming up. Step both feet to the outsides of the hands for yogi squat. Good. Breathe. This is a very intense stretch, so be with all the sensations in your hips. Awesome. And then take your hands on the outside of your feet. We're going to roll back super gracefully into happy baby. Here we go. <laughs> Good. And then pull those knees in towards your armpits. Press your sacrum down onto the ground, your low back, your booty. And you can stay still here or you can rock from side to side. A little hello timber. Straightening one leg and then the other. <sighs> Good. And then slowly melt the feet down to the earth. Take your shoulders and walk them underneath your body. Feet hip distance, hands on the ground. Lift those hips up towards the sky for a short bridge pose. Just clearing anything in the hips here that feels stuck. Or maybe you need some love. I like to just rub on parts of my body that feel like they're tight. I need a little love or attention. So if you want to take your hands and just kind of run them along with your psoas muscles, hip flexors, exhale, bring those hips down. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. And then take both knees over towards the right. I like to wiggle my left foot away from my midline here. Maybe even take your left arm over your head for a big long stretch here. How does it feel to try to be with so many things at once? Your breath, your sensations in your body, also your mind. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to be with. So even if you just thought about your breath today, you can do this practice again. Maybe try to add sensation, sensations in your body next time. Inhale, bring your knees up and switch sides. Walk that right foot away from your midline if you like. Maybe right arm reaches over your head. Maybe left hand to your belly or your hip. Just kind of giving yourself a little bit of love here. I know a lot of times if we're feeling down about something or not feeling great about ourselves, our bodies, our mindsets, we tend to choose being mean to ourselves over love. So while you're here, send some loving kindness to yourself for showing up today, for paying attention. Whenever you're ready, slowly walk those feet in, knees in. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Let the knees fall towards each other for two breaths. Maybe reach both arms overhead. <sighs> Even interlace the fingers. Good. And then arms go to goal post. Feet come together, bottoms of the feet, for one more bound angle pose. And you're welcome to stay here if this feels really good. If your knees need a little bit of support, you can take blankets or blocks underneath your knees. And you're always welcome to straighten your legs out into full Shavasana. Or come onto your belly or your side here. But let's set up for a really cozy final resting posture. We can just be with any sensations in our body that are lingering in our breath. Maybe even take your arms by your side if that feels good. Or hands on your belly.
And for this Shavasana, let's just think of one thing that we can really be with for 10 sweet, slow breaths. If you're outside, maybe it's the sky above you, or maybe you close your eyes and just let your breath be easy and you count your breaths. Let's take 10 breaths together. Let your body be heavy into the ground beneath you. Please feel free to stay here if you have more time. Or slowly begin to invite movement by rocking your head from side to side. And just take a mental or physical note of anything that you really noticed today during your practice. And then begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you even stretch your arms up like long. Exhale, bring your hands over your belly. Let's take two deep breaths together. Inhale into your hands. Belly puffs up towards the sky. Big, beautiful belly. Exhale, pull everything in. Mula Banda. Squeeze those abs towards each other. One more time. Let's exhale out of your mouth. Good bend those knees. I think someone's shooting a gun out here. <laughs> We're in the country though, don't be alarmed. And then take your knees over to the side, roll on to whichever side feels really good for you. Make a little pillow for your head, soft shoulders. Just take a moment of gratitude. Thank yourself for showing up today, for turning on this video. <laughs> for um, just being with whatever it is. Like right now, Chamber's barking, I'm just gonna be with it. <laughs> Slowly press yourself all the way up. You can't take yourself too seriously, ever. Good, and then one more time, sit really tall. Find that C curve in your low back. Soft shoulders. Thank you so much for being with me today and being with yourself, whatever comes up for you. I would love to hear about it. Please subscribe, hang out with us. I would love to see you again. Namaste for today.